Good morning, everyone. Go ahead and scoot forward to the edge of your chair. Sit up nice and tall. Relax your arms down by your side. And let's start with some nice shoulder rolls backwards. I want you to take your shoulders, pull them up towards your ears, press them back into your rib cage in the back, and then slide them down along the rib cage. Get the whole shoulder involved. That's it. Two more. And the last one, relax those shoulders back and down. Take your left arm forward and up, down, then the right arm. Lead with your thumb. Try to track that arm up so it reaches your ear and then come back down. Get a little squeeze of that shoulder blade in the back. Slide it in towards your spine. Okay, we're going to keep our arms going, but on this next one, we're going to add in the opposite leg with a lift. Keep your navel engaged. Nice and tall, so squeeze that stomach in towards your spine. Try not to rock back. One more on each side. Good. Alternating heel taps out in front. Alternating feet, tap your heels out in front. And we're going to take both arms, press them out to the sides. One more on each foot. Good, and alternating toe taps to the side. Alternating feet, tap your toes out to the side. And I want you to take that opposite hand and push it down towards the floor. One more to each side. Come to the center, let's march our feet. Pump your arms. Good, and I want you to march it on your heels. So pick your toes up off the floor and take your heels out wide. And bring them back in. And take them out wide. And bring them back in. And normal march the feet. Try to pick your legs up a little bit higher. Get them up a little bit more. Stop your feet, figure eight that left arm. Nice big figure eight. Try to get that hand from one side of your hip to the other. And let's switch arms, figure eight that right arm. Big figure eight, lead with the thumb. That's it. Lead with your thumb. Nice big figure eight. Good. Come back to the center. Alternating legs. Lift your knees up nice and high. Alternating lifts of the legs up. Uh, 
And I want you to take your opposite arm and push it diagonally across towards that lifting knee. You're gonna twist through your torso towards that lifted leg. So draw that navel in, give a little twist. So squeeze your stomach in, engage those abdominal muscles. One more on each side and march your feet on the toes. So keep your heels off the ground. Take your toes out wide and bring them back in. Take them back out wide and bring them back in. Good, alternating toe taps out to the side. Alternating feet, tap your toes out to the side. Good. You're going to take your same arm, tap your opposite shoulder. If you have a little bit more range of motion, reach it diagonally up and over. So if you have more range of motion in your shoulders, and you feel like you can reach up and over, do so. If not, just tap the shoulder. And then add in a little rotation through your navel, not much. So remember you have two options here. And one more, and to the center, march those feet. Try to pick them up a little bit higher than normal. Don't let them stay close to the ground, lift up those legs. Navel still contracted, not leaning back. Keep marching, bring your arms out to in line with your shoulders. Stop your feet, little circles forward from the shoulders. Little circles, cir circles, excuse me, little circles forward from your shoulder. Keep your abdominals engaged so you're not moving your upper body. It's just from the shoulders to the hands. Good, make a medium circles. So a little bit bigger but not as big as you can go. And now big circles, big circles forward, as big as you can make them. We're gonna learn how heavy our arms are. And take them backwards, big circles backwards. Keep your abdominals engaged to keep your shoulders over your hips. And make them medium circles backwards. We're almost done. Keep pushing through. Rest your arms if you need to. And smaller circles backwards. I know we're pushing the endurance in our shoulders a little bit here, but you can do it. Keep breathing. Three, two, one, and relax. March those feet, roll your shoulders back and down. Give those shoulders a little bit of a rest. Roll them, shake them out if you feel like you need to. I know they're tired. We've learned how heavy our arms can be. Good, alternating feet, kick the leg out in front. 
Rest your hands on your legs for now. One more on each leg. Good, and march. Let's pump those arms. Take your feet out wide. And bring them back in. And take them out wide. And bring them back in. Good, let's take it into little hops. So keep your abdominals tight. Lift your feet up and try to place them back down softly. Use your arms. That's it. Three, two, one. Good. Stop your feet. Let's breaststroke our arms forward and out. Continuing to breathe. Good, and rock your feet. So pick up your heels, plant the toes, then plant your toes, lift up the heels. And let's take both feet out wide. And bring them back in. Take them back out wide. And bring them back in. Good, and stop your feet, bring your arms forward, take them out, bring them in, out and in. Try to keep your hands in line with your shoulders, palms down towards the floor, out and in. Out, squeeze your shoulders and in. Now, as you bring your hands towards each other, I want you to push your navel in. So contract your stomach, press it in towards your spine, lift up and release. So a little bend of your spine, contract your navel, lift your rib cage, squeeze the shoulder blades. So feel your stomach pressing in towards your spine. As you bring your hands in together, a little rounding is okay here. Not a lot, but a little. But I want you to feel that stomach push in towards your spine. Core contract it. Four, three, two, and one. Arms back out, palms up, reach them up together. Back down, palms together, palms towards the floor. Up and down. 15, 14, 13, palms together, palms towards the floor. Don't take your hands past your shoulders. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, good, relax your arms down, roll those shoulders back and down. Continuing to breathe. And relax your arms back and down. 
I want you to reach out for the back of your chair. Press your rib cage forward, push your hips into the ground, squeeze your shoulder blades in together. You should feel a pull across your chest and into your shoulders. Now, if you have arms on your chair and you can't necessarily reach back for the back of your chair, I want you to lace your fingertips together like I have mine. Push them back and down towards your seat. Reach your lip, rib cage forward and squeeze your shoulder blades in. But you're pushing your hands down towards the floor and slightly away from you. That's if you don't have arms on your chair. But if you do, hedge of your seat, lift and push. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Good. And release your arms, rest them on your legs. Round your back and lift up nice and tall and round and lift and round and lift round and lift up three more two and one more all right i want you to scoot to the left hand side of your chair you're going to take your left leg out to the side, heel down, toe up. Get that left leg as best you can in line with your left hip. Right hand on your right knee. Lift up nice and tall. Rotate towards your right knee and hinge forward. Try not to let your left knee drift forward. Push it back so it's still pointed up towards the sky. Get a little pull on the inside of this leg. Good, and come up. Bring that leg in. We're gonna head to the right hand side. You're gonna take your right leg out to the side. Heel down, toe up. Nice straight right leg coming from that hip. Left knee is in line with your left hip. Both hands on the left. Lift your rib cage and hinge forward. Same thing here. Try not to let that right foot tilt forward. Push it back up towards the sky. Hinge towards that left knee and get a nice pull right in here. Make sure you're inhaling and exhaling. Big breath in and big breath out. Good, and come up. Head back to the center of your chair. And I want you to take your arms down. Give me a nice big inhale, lift up. Lift your rib cage, bring your fingertips together at the top, lace the hands in together if you can, or just hold them up. Push your hands up towards the sky. Press your hips back down into the chair. Feel your spine lengthen. And I want you to lean to the right, but keep your left hip in the chair. Feel a pull on that left side. And come up. Big inhale. Exhale, lean to the left. Push that right hip back down. Feel that pull on your right side. Inhale, lift. And exhale, release your hands, bring the arms down. And you're all done. Thanks for joining me today.